Hey guys, this is Carrie. Welcome to Vedita number two or three or whoever's counting. It is Tuesday, December 9th, and uh, today I want to talk about something that I've really been contemplating for the last month or two in depth. It's a concept that I've really been dealing with my whole adult life, but more recently, um, because I have been commuting every day. So uh, the concept is about being a good person and the fact that I think most people would qualify themselves as good people or nice people. And I think of myself as a good person or a nice person. Um, in that I always, you know, am polite when I buy things and um, say excuse me and sorry on the subway and all these little things that, you know, deem people good people. However, I was thinking, you know, how good am I really? What things do I do that are extraordinarily good? Do I do more than just, you know, the minimum requirements? I decided to challenge myself to donate money whenever I saw someone either playing an instrument or asking for money in the subway or on the street. I challenged myself since about September. I just kind of made a mental goal. I said to myself, keep change in your pocket outside of your wallet and use whatever you happen to pull out, you have to give. So if you pull out a dollar, you have to give it. So, um, that was my rule f starting in September. I didn't do it for the first like three weeks. I was just like, I'm shy, I didn't prepare, my wallet's in my bag, I don't want to blah blah blah. So then around the beginning of November, um, I renegotiated with myself and said, okay, I have to try to do this and see what effect this has on me. I started to keep change in the pockets of my jackets so that it would be there and very accessible. So I'm going to talk about my experience doing this and uh, how I felt. Okay, so overall I would say that it feels good. Um, it feels good to be doing a nice gesture, like, you know, supporting someone who needs a little bit of help. And it's also nice to do it in a public way. I have seen other people do it now that I'm a person who kind of pays attention to these people. I can notice that other people are often talking to them, um, donating to them, I guess you can say it's donating. Um, but I, I would say I only gave to every single person for about three weeks straight. And I was noticing that the money that I would normally use to buy myself a small snack was depleting and, <laughs> um, I kind of started to conserve a little bit so that I didn't actually end up giving to everyone in my path. And um, even today, I was walking out of the subway at College Station um, to catch the streetcar, and there was someone there with a sign that said, can you help? And I just walked by, and I thought to myself, I can help. I know I have enough change in my bag that I could spare some. But again, it was that thing that my money's in my wallet, my wallet's in my backpack, I'm in a stream full of people who are just slowly moving their way up the stairs, so... I didn't stop and then I thought well well how good am I if I can't even follow my own rule when someone is sitting outside and it's cold regardless of why they're there sometimes I contemplate how good am I really how good are all of us think of how you spend your money and how you spend your time I do think that there are different things that make a person good you know, having malicious thoughts towards people or, you know, not being polite when it would be easy to be polite, that kind of thing. You know, there are, you know, ways to qualify yourself as good or not good, but, you know, once you're on the good side, how much are you really contributing to your goodness? How, are you, how good are you really being? And how generous are you being? Um, so I just wanted to mention that. I also wonder if any of you have done a similar experiment where you try to 
give money to people who need it or, you know, some kind of project to, I don't know, personal project of self-improvement. And I wanted to mention something interesting that happened on the streetcar today. I know my last video was all about the TTC and the Spadina station, but something interesting happened today. So uh, we're on a crowded streetcar and a guy comes in with a f like a big tall Starbucks drink and he comes to the back where I'm sitting and a bunch of us are sitting and there's an empty spot next to a person blocking the seat by the window which is a terrible pet peeve of mine I I don't understand anyway um but who am I to really judge a bit of a while so <laughs> anyway so this guy kind of like tries to squeeze in over the guy to get to the window seat and he ends up spilling his you know s giant perfect coffee on the guy's jacket a little bit so that's when I took notice and the guy's like hey hey man whoa, whoa. and the other guy's like whoa, whoa sorry and then the guy who got the drink spilled on him said you need to be more careful and then the guy who spilled the drink said I need to be more careful I need to be more careful. You and I are a team. So it turned into this kind of like ridiculous back and forth where they're saying, no man, we're not a team. You need to be more careful. No, blah, blah, blah. I wish I did it on purpose. It would have gone in your hair. It would have taken three weeks to wash out. And then it kind of fizzled down. And then the guy who spilled the drink said, how's your day? How's your day been? And the guy said, oh, my day's been fine. And then he said, are you tired? Like, as if he was going to, you know, complain more. And then the guy said, no, no, I'm not tired. I'm, I'm a little sick. Mm. And then they kind of found this, you know, common ground in a weird way. And then the guy, the guy who didn't really uh, move to let the guy sit down said, you know, I'm, I'm sorry about that. And then the other guy said, I'm sorry, too. <laughs> So there was this kind of like giant drama resolved into humanity um, all in about a minute on the streetcar and several of us around there were laughing. I don't know, I thought that was a kind of a nice human way to deal with, uh, you know, being on public transit, which can be kind of stressful for some people. So I enjoyed that interaction today. So um, you guys can comment below um, what you think about how good of a person you are and what things we can do, you know, simple little things that we can do to actually make our lives better, make the lives of people around us who happen to be alive at the same time that we are better. So what can we do? All right. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Have a nice evening.